nearly 70-year-old Alohawar Clothing Company is stopping production for good, but the business is not shutting down permanently. Iolani is tonight's hardworking Hawaii. Iolani has been selling Aloha apparel to people from around the world since 1953. The first shop was located on Baratania Street. The story about how Iolani got its name was at that time, if you looked across, there was no state capital, but you saw the palace, Iolani Palace. After Hawaii became a part of the United States, tourism took off, and so did Aloha shirt sales. The Aloha shirt became a real staple. Lloyd's parents worked day in and day out to keep up with demand. I mean, it was huge, just, you know, it, and everybody benefited from it. We had a really vibrant, very uh, big uh, local fashion industry. Since the beginning, the Kawakami family prided itself on making its products locally. As the years pass, that made being in retail tough. Even till today, everything in this store was made by hands in Hawaii. Although a lot of companies are shifting to overseas and doing things a little bit cheaper, which is great, um, we wanted to keep everything in Hawaii, which was very difficult. There were also other challenges, competition from big box retailers and companies not in Hawaii making copycat versions of the Aloha shirt. People would, would not call it an Aloha shirt, they'd call it a resort shirt. They should call it resort wear. And we've always maintained that unless it's made in Hawaii, you can't call it an Aloha shirt. Despite all of that, the Kawakamis pushed through and then there was COVID. Number one, the pandemic, uh, that kind of was the, you know, another nail in the coffin, so to speak. Iolani announcing this week it's ending its clothing company. The news that has come out, and a lot of people have reacted saying, oh, it's, wow, we're so surprised, um, we're saddened. This is something that we've been talking about for a long time. Right now, there's no set closing date because they're trying to get rid of inventory, so the entire store is 25% off. Although there is <clears throat> some sadness, I'm very excited because I can feel, you know, I can feel it more than, more than ever that we're heading in a great direction. That's because the Kawakamis will be focusing on other projects like supporting small businesses through the Iolani Center. We've always had to adapt and always had to change and this is just one of those times that we are adapting and changing. Alex Kawakami says the memories make saying aloha even harder. So I remember uh, the offices were here and I would race my brother on the office chairs around the office. He says this is a hui ho or until we meet again. I tell everybody that although we are phasing out of the apparel, it's for now. You know, it's not like Iolani is dying. It's not like we're going to just get rid of all our prints and all our styles. We're just taking it, shifting our direction right now. Pre-pandemic, the Kawakami started holding live music, charity, and food events at the Iolani Center. They hope to be able to start that up again sometime soon.